Okay, let's see the other uh, uh, one more IGCSC past paper question. At 12 hours, a ship has position vector 54i plus 16j kilometer relative to the lighthouse. Look at this diagram. Let's take this as lighthouse L. And here, I represent a unit vector along x-axis and J represent a unit vector along y-axis. So if you take this point, if you take this point, say this is 2 and 2, this you can write the position vector of this can be written as 2i plus 2j. 2i plus 2j or 2i plus 3j represent 2 units horizontally and 3 units, three units vertically are and uh, hope you know this if it is minus 3i plus 7j which represent three units from the lighthouse left side and seven units up in case if this is negative seven it has to be down negative j's all down positive j's up and uh, and uh, horizontally right and left for the positive and negative in this question it's given from the lighthouse the ship is already in the position of position vector of 54i plus 16j let's assume that the ship is over here approximately which has already the position vector 54i plus 16j means horizontally it, it moved 54 uh, units and vertically it moved 16 units now from there a ship the ship is traveling with a speed of 20 kilometers per hour in the direction of 3i plus 4j what is this represent this 3i plus 4j represent for every three step of horizontal there has to be four steps move on vertical if, if it move three kilometers horizontally then it will move four kilometers vertically up this i can show here a little as assume that hope you can see this grid box counting starting from here one two three Three units for every three units horizontal there has to be one two three four units vertical so the direction should go like this so this is the direction of the ship right and this direction itself it has some magnitude this is actually three and four you can find the magnitude of it the magnitude is nothing but using Pythagoras theorem three square and four square which is five so this has a magnitude of 5 meter per second or sorry 5 kilometers per hour but it is mentioned the ship is moving of 20 kilometers per hour right so from here we can take the velocity vector the velocity vector is let's make a unit vector out of it unit vector of this v vector is one fifth of three and four into it moving of 20 kilometers per hour so by cancelling this this gives 4 4 3 are 12 and 16 so the velocity vector of the ship is 12 12i plus 16j so that so that the position of the ship the position of the ship goes like the actual the initial position is 54i plus 16j plus t times of 12i plus 12i plus again 16j Now what's asked is, we have to show that after 3 hours the position is at 90i plus 64j. After 3 hours means, after at 15 means you are starting at 12, so 3 hours. So you can substitute 3 over here. So it is 54, basically 54 plus 3 times of 12 is 36. Is horizontally 
and again 16 plus 3 times of 16 is 48 16 plus 48 times of J which gives 90i plus 64j hence it's proved after 3 hours from the starting time it is in the position of 90i plus 64j from the lighthouse the second part is find the position vector of the ship in terms of t where t represent the hours after the starting time so which is very simple you have to make an equation in terms of t so it is 54 plus 12t times of i plus 16 plus 16t times of j you are getting here in the t place you substituted 3 for the previous case but now we are going to keep it in the form of it's in the general form only if t is in the equation you are making in terms of t if t is 5 hours just place 5 you will get the position of this shape that's the second part now the next part is a speedboat leaves the light, lighthouse at 14 hours and travels in straight line to intercept the ship given that the speedboat intercept the ship at 16 hours find the speed of the speedboat so the speedboat is starting at starting at uh, 14 hours means 2 hours after the ship started and it reached it can meet the ship at 16 hours means after it started 2 hours within 2 hours it can mean and the 16 hours says it is 4 hours after the ship started now let's find where the ship would be after 4 hours here this is the general equation we can use to find the ship's position now at 16 hours means t has to be 4 by substituting t is 4 54 plus 48 times i plus 16 plus 64j which gives 1 or 2i plus 80j so this is the ship's position after 4 hours now we are going to find our aim is to find the speed of the boat speed of the boat you have to find the ship from the lighthouse is in this position of 112, 102 and 80 after after 4 hours and this the lifeboat has to cover in 2 hours because the lifeboat starts at 14 only lifeboat or speedboat sorry speedboat a speedboat started at 14 and should uh, uh, intercept the ship at 16 hours which means in 2 hours it should cover this distance so every hour it should travel of this by 2 that is 1 or 2 by 2 times i plus 40 by 2 times j which is 51i plus 20j so this has to be the speed of the speedboat so that it can intercept the ship within 2 hours and sorry there is a small uh, uh, error here 
it is 1 or 2 by 2i plus 80 by 2j which is 51i plus 40j this is the velocity of the um, speedboat we have to find speed find the magnitude of the velocity that is absolute magnitude of 51i plus 40j which is nothing but square root of 51 square plus 40 square which is approximately 64.8 kilometers per hour so this is the speed of the boat the speed of the speed boat the next part the velocity of the speed boat relative to the ship the velocity of the speed boat relative to the ship actually if you see the the speed boat is moving faster than the ship this equation is this the speed boat velocity equation is velocity of the speed boat is 51i plus 40j velocity of the let's take sbb speed boat and velocity of the ship we already found here um, that is 12i plus 16j so the relative velocity you have to find the velocity of the speed boat relative to the ship is subtract these two 51i plus 40j minus 12i plus 16j this gives 39i plus 14j is the relative velocity the last part is the angle the direction of the speedboat makes with the north so uh, the velocity of the speedboat speed boat is 51i plus 40j so that goes like this 51 and 40j you have to find the angle what it makes with the north line take this angle is alpha and we have the distances 51 and 40 so uh, we have opposite and adjacent sides and use tan alpha is 51 upon 40 so the angle is tan goes of 51 upon 40 which is 51.9 degrees approximately so that's it you can solve the questions like this I'll get more problems, more past paper problems in my uh, other lectures. Thank you.